Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Ali Madawi here, live with you with another class and session with me. And we will be starting in just about a minute. want to give everybody an opportunity to give their shout outs because I want you to get more followers. I see Jay Smooth. What's going on, Jay Smooth? How you doing? Mr. George Collado, what's going on? So we are live on Periscope and we are live on Facebook. Uh, Valerie, what's going on? Good morning, good morning. If you are new to Periscope, Virginia, hello from Maryland. Uh, if you tap the screen, you're going to see hearts. Virginia already making it rain with hearts. And that gives us the support. That gives us that motivation. That gives us the reason to keep on pushing and putting value in the marketplace for you. Uh, uh, what's going on, T. Wade, 1991. Uh, if you swipe to the right or if you're Android, you swipe from the top to the bottom, you can actually share uh, this scope live to your followers, to Twitter, to Facebook. You can copy the link and I'm going to promise you this story. If you need a little bit of motivation or if you are a business owner, a network marketer, uh, affiliate marketer, uh, online marketer or in e-commerce or anything for that matter or a human being, the story that I'm about to share with you today is going to be extremely powerful and I am very, very motivated. What's going on, Facebook? Who do we have on? You can obviously comment on the comment box so people can see who you are and we can give you a shout out and say hellos and how are you for you as well. But let's get right into it. So we do this every single morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ali Medawi, founder and CEO of Medawi Enterprise. I am a multiple traditional business owner. Uh, professional network marketer and now I am very very excited to take things to the next level and focus on giving you the viewer the listener and the friends uh, the value of all I have learned to build businesses in 27 states six countries develop five international languages write a book that's going to be uh, published on in summer 2016 called the lion network marketer which is a memoir slash expose to show you share with you and give you all you need to know about network marketing it's not just necessarily a coaching book it's really going to be teaching you the stuff that's behind the actual uh, um, I, I guess you, you can call it be behind the, the scene that people don't really know about Right. Uh, and it's extremely important for you to understand. Sometimes there's side deals. Sometimes the uplines have like extra money that's getting thrown at them. Sometimes there's like secrets that are hidden that the average network marketer does not know about. And I am educating and giving all that out for for a few reasons. One, to protect you, to help you so you can negotiate your way into a network marketing company. And that way you shrink that learning curve from five years and you can turn it into a year. Uh, and that's obviously still will require a lot of hard work. So thank you. Thank you for all the love. Please feel free to share this uh, with everybody uh, uh, by swiping to the right or top to bottom and you can share it. All right. So let's get to the story of the week. Today I'm going to be featuring, as I told you yesterday, if there's anybody that inspires you, you want to feature their story. Uh, I'm inspired by this gentleman. His name is James Bohm. He's with us right now live on Facebook. Uh, and James Bohm uh, is uh, an internet marketer, entrepreneur, and has been for years now. And uh, he is today's story, and we are very, very inspired by him. Uh, and, and let me just read his story for you. I requested to, to get those stories, and here is what I have received. So... Hi Ali, I just wanted to send you over my why. I am 52 years old. I have worked long and hard all my life. Working on holidays, working all nights, missing so much quality time with the family. I want to change all of uh, that for my son. I do not want him to live the life that I have lived. I want to set him up with his uh, uh, for his future, for his family. Uh, so they can live the life to the fullest. I am still working long, crazy hours, and I need all that I can do for that to stop. I have reached the time in life uh, when you should relax and enjoy life and help others to do the same. I recently lost my home, and they took uh, uh, and then took savings and bought a mobile home, thinking I would be able to save money and start over. Well. Who knew Florida had strict laws on mobile homes? I lost my savings. I had to live in my truck for three weeks to save up more money. Spent my 52nd birthday there 
in my truck. I now bought a 22-foot uh, RV, and I am living in it. That must change, but more importantly, I need to make sure this never, ever happens to my son. The RV is nice for traveling, but it is not a home. I need a home, so my why is really to change my whole lifestyle and help others do the same, as I know all too well how hard life is. He continues to say, this is all, I mean, I, I was tearing up a little bit when I read this because of his resilience. I am celebrating you, my friend, right now. That was, uh, I told him that that was so powerful and I would love to share his story with everybody as far as the, the, the viewers today. He said, sure, and I will soon have a hell of a story to tell. There was so much more involved. I had to give up my dogs and that was so hard lost my furniture, my appliances, and everything I could not fit in my truck. But it is all good. I know where my future is with you guys, and I will never give up. So I am very, very excited to be here. Mr. Boehm, you are a resilient soldier. You are powerful. You are an example to all of us. So next time, before you complain that you are having a bad day, Double check yourself because there are people who are literally, they lost their homes, who, who, who are going through a hurdle or a struggle. But guess what? He's bouncing back. He's still pushing strong. He's never giving up. Every single day he'll send me a message saying, I have faith and I will keep this thing going and I got this. And he's getting it. He's doing it. He is so, so strong. So I'm proud of you, James. And here's the thing, man. You are truly an example. See, because of your consequence, your circumstance, or your situation, you have two options or two choices as human beings that we can do. The first option is to claim it to be a sad story, the end, right? To say that this is a stumbling block, right? I can't be successful because. I can't have such and such because. Or to use it as an excuse. The reason I am not doing better in my life is because of this certain situation that is holding me back. So it is so, so important for yourself to understand that you can use that circumstance, that consequence, that situation for motivation as your reason why. As why you should make a comeback. You should let it just get into your head every single day. I will never go through this thing again. And I relate. I am so in tune with you, James, because I've been through situations where it was rock bottom down. I've been behind in my mortgage by 10 months. I've been in, and I live in Jersey, and Hurricane Sandy took everything away from me and my family to the point where I was going homeless. I didn't know what, what, what to do. So I am so proud of you, man. And I'm here to tell you that adversity is the first step to success. If you are not going through adversity, you will never be successful. So I'm not telling you go give up everything and go become, you know, uh, uh, homeless. No, that's not what I'm saying. But every time you have something uh, in terms of struggle, it's just a sign that you are a lot closer to something great. And that's the mindset that you should be having every single time. I know it for a fact. Study all success stories that you can imagine. I mean, Mahatma Gandhi, the guy almost died from, I uh, mean, he did, but... He said, I will not eat. I will protest. They beat him. They fought him. But he said, I will get the rights that we deserve. Right? Think about uh, uh, Martin Luther King. I mean, he paid the ultimate price with his life. He walked in March knowing, I am going to get beat. I am going to be treated bad. Think about Abraham Lincoln and the sacrifice that he had to do in a divided nation. He knew and he paid the ultimate price with his life. Think about Jesus Christ. Think about all these great figures in our lifetime, right? They struggled before they made something extremely impeccable. So that is why it's important for you to understand the mindset. Whenever something bad is happening, it is a door opener for something much greater. But you have the choice and the key to turn to open that door is that choice. Because if you turn the key, you chose to be resilient, to use it as motivation, to use it as a reason why. If you drop the key and say, this is it, the end, well, you just never open the door to see the greatness. So I encourage you, I ask of you, I beg of you that whenever adversity hits your door and, and knocks on your door, don't walk away from it. Welcome it. It's a start of something great. All right. So I hope today's message and today's story empowers you, motivates you, because it sure got me all pumped up and ready to go for today. Um, we're going to do this again tomorrow, 830 a.m. Oh, tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Pick Your Topic Friday. So here's what I want you to do. 
you can either A, via Facebook or Twitter or whatever social media that you want to use, send me an inbox, a direct message, letting me know what topic you want to cover, or you can uh, B, send me an email to Ali at MadawiEnterprise.org, that is Ali at MadawiEnterprise.org, and let me know exactly what topic you want me to cover, and again, I'll give you a shout out, and I'll dedicate that topic to you, and you can welcome your team so they can learn about it, and um, also, you can visit my website, MadawiEnterprise.org, I'm doing many, 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 many upgrades, uh, so for right now, we're still sticking with MadawiEnterprise.org. Uh, uh, and you can just go to uh, contact us and you can send the subject matter, whatever topic you want. And then in the body, if you want to put more details and if you want a complimentary session as well, you can go to uh, calendly.com forward slash a medawi and you can actually book right into my calendar a complimentary 30 minute session. And I'll take care of you. I'll help you out. I'll cover whatever is relevant and important to you. And we can see if we're good fit to work with one another as well for anything in the future that is relevant to you. So make sure you utilize your consequence, your circumstance and situation to get pumped. Now, Periscope, give us some hearts and make sure you share this to every single person uh, you know uh, uh, that, that is following you because this story empowered me and I know it can do the same thing to everybody else. Uh, and uh, tomorrow, 8.30 Eastern Time on Periscope and on Facebook Live, we're going to be doing Pick your topic Friday. So make sure you communicate what topic you want me to go over. With that, thank you all. Class is dismissed. See you tomorrow. Take care.